Dear friends, I would like to tell you some stories about my ten-day journey in Nepal. After we arrived at Kathmandu, which was the capital city in Nepal, we took a taxi to Tamil, the core of trade in Kathmandu. It was so nice to have seen all these keen and kind-hearted strangers greeting you by saying Namaste. So it was just seeing a little girl who chased after pigeons in Duba Square. When we got to Monkey Temple, and stirred the prayer wheels like any locals. We started to experience the mysterious but different power intensively. Afterwards, we were amazed by the full views of Kathmandu as we peeked the temple along stairs. Later, we arrived at Pokhara. Life here was totally different from Kathmandu. It was rather quiet, peaceful, and cozy. You could see cows in the middle of the street. In leisure time, we could ride bikes and cycle all the way around Fivalik. Most importantly. Here we could taste a life of slow pace, which was really rare nowadays. Fortunately, during the raining season in Nepal. We had a glimpse of magnificent sunrise and mountains from Himalayas. Meanwhile, our significant responsibility was to accompany with the kids in local orphanage, who were so pure and enthusiastic. Through days of company, we have built our trust and emotional attachment between each other, just like a family. They saw enjoyed dancing. When I watched them dance, they were so immersed in these appealing songs. Then I found out, happiness could be so sensible. When we left our home, we were prepared with a hearty dinner. We gave them the cakes we bought before, as they were singing a really beautiful local song. Although a lot more volunteers have come here before me, it was still so not easy to say goodbye to each other.
I'm your sister Momo. I promise I will come back soon. Besides all the beautiful experiences I have talked about so far, there were more I wanted to share. We have also challenged paragliding from Sarangkot, a 1200 meter high platform. We appreciated the most breathtaking scene in Pokhara as we rambled through the crowds in our flying suits. Additionally, I had an opportunity to have challenged the second highest natural bungee jump in the border of Tibet and Nepal, which was 160 meters high. In a lot of occasions, obstacles were just there for you to confront and run over courageously. You just jump and don't think too much. When I fulfilled my jump and saw the rapid current 200 feet down there, I just wanted to cry out, life is so amazing. So whenever you lose your passion for life, just come to Nepal.